Here we have a Huawei laptop. I used to call it Hawaii. Huawei laptop that came in for no power. Customer said that he spilled liquid on it and the laptop is not powering on. We did confirm the laptop is not powering on and no signs of life anywhere. So what we did is disassemble the board right here. And as you can see, the board is shielded. So liquid is not really gonna get inside. Maybe on the corners, we can check the corners. But inside, I highly doubt that liquid is going to go under this. I mean, if you look here, if you try to peel this off the board, it's really sticky. So liquid is not going to sneak all the way inside. We would have seen signs of liquid damage on the outside here, but I do not see any. So I'm thinking liquid maybe came in contact on the edges, on the sides, and... Let me show you what I found. I just took a quick look at this board before I started the recording. And maybe, maybe liquid came in contact on this side of the board. I brushed off some of the corrosion. I found some corrosion on the side here, just a tiny bit. I was not recording a video and I did not think I wanted to record the video, but I thought, why not? I never did a Huawei laptop repair on this channel before. I cleaned some corrosion from those two resistors. They were corroded. And that was the only thing I noticed on this board. I peeled off this paper or this piece of black tape just to see if we have any signs of corrosion and I did not find any. Now I did not check the sides. I said, let me record the video and then we can work on it together. Look at this. I mean, there's no way liquid is going to get inside. And we do not see any signs of liquid on the outside here also. So I have no reason to believe that we have liquid inside. Look at the way it's wrapped around the board. I'm not going to even peel it off to check. Look at this. How is liquid going to sip inside, right? I did peel off the side here. I did not see anything obvious on the side here. If we do not have liquid here, why should we have liquid inside? So we want to look at the sides, at the corners. So the only thing I noticed was corrosion on top of those two resistors. Now those two resistors should be equal in value, should. We do not know the exact value, but I would assume that they are maybe equal in value. I could be wrong. I do not know what that chip is. Or if this line of the resistor is different than this line, where the value of this one must be greater than this or this one greater than this. I don't know. But since we had corrosion on those resistors, we're going to measure what's the resistance of the first resistor and the second resistor. If we measure the first one in ohms mode, I'm reading 149 ohms, kilo ohms, I'm sorry, 149 kilo ohms. If we measure the resistance of this one, oh well. I'm reading oh well on this one. So that tells me the resistor is open. What happens if we measure this one? 1 ohm, and what happens if we measure this, we do not have a short, and this one here, we do not have a short. And what happens if we measure here, we do not have a short, we have a high value in ohms reading, and we have a high value. So the only thing I can see wrong with this motherboard is possibly this resistor that is reading OL. We're going to change it, replace it with 149K resistor. I believe this is a size, it looks like a size 402 SMD component. And where are we going to get a 150 kilo ohm 402 SMD component? Where? The SMD books. You can purchase those books from our site. Just log in to northwishface.com. Click on shop and you can get all the books. We have resistor books from size 201 to 1206 and we have capacitor books from 201 to 1206 all values
this one looks like a 402. Yes, and let's see if I'm right. We are looking for one hundred and fifty K about one eighty K, one thirty K, one fifty K right there. Okay, so one fifty K is right over here. That's one fifty K. Right there. We have a lot of components. Each strip is, I think, contains 50 components. It depends on the size of the SMD components. Now look at this, the perfect size. Let's put it on the side. Just imagine I do not have those SMD books. Where would I get a 150 kilo ohm 402 size? Resistor, you would have to go online and order one and you're going to be paying a lot for just that one component. It costs nothing when you buy the book. The component costs probably less than half a cent when you calculate the cost of the book. And if you look on our site here, let's search 402, or let's search resistor book right there. I just want to see how many components is inside that book. So resistor book, size 402, 6,000 or 8,500 components, 8,500 components. And the price of the book, $45. Just calculate. $45 divided by 6500 You are paying that much per component. You are paying that much by component. The price is unbelievable when you calculate the cost of the component. Or you can just buy all the books. You can click all books, and all the books are $475. How many books? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I just wanted to quickly go over this so you know where I get my components from because I get this question all the time, all the time. We're going to use some flux and desolder that component. And let's solder that component. And it doesn't matter if that component is flipped on its back, whether it's looking white in color or black in color, it doesn't matter. It's still the same component. And we're gonna go like this. Right, and we should be good. The resistor should be soldered on nicely. And we're gonna use our brush to clean up and hope for the best. Will that fix our problem? I don't know, maybe. If the resistor was open, it could be why the laptop is not powering on. It's very possible. Since everything is covered, I do not have reason to believe that we have any issues under that wrap. Just before I hand it to Big Boss, let me go over the resistance. Right now, if we measure resistance again, now I'm getting 75K. 75K on this one and 74K on this one. And that tells me that those two components are in parallel. So it makes sense for those two resistors to be equal in value and not one of them reading a well and the other one is reading 150K. So that's more like it. We have 75K each. And let's see. I'm going to hand this to Big Boss 3 Samuel and test, and I'll let you know 
how it goes. Hopefully it's a fix. Any signs of life yet? Yalla, bismillah. Let's take a look. Yes, no. Oh, I see a light. I see a backlight on the... Oh! Working! Wow! <laughs> we did it. Amazing. 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 Thank you, big boss. Welcome, Alex. Big boss is the boss of all bosses. Wow. One resistor. One simple 402 size resistor. Fix the problem. Amazing. That's it. We fixed it. We did it.